Get out of that truck or I'm going to throw you out of that truck. Oh, please, Mr. Pike, don't get upset. You're not going to do anything. Drive on, you big stupid idiot. Mommy, I'm not to worry about your baby's going to... The baby's coming to save you, Mama.
This is Rancho Caneo Tower. Do you hear me? This is Rancho Caneo Tower. Do you hear me? Aircraft calling Rancho Caneo Tower. This is Rancho Caneo Tower. How do you hear me? I got him. I got him. I got him. Hello, down there on the ground. This is us up here in the air, and we're in trouble. We're in an awful jam. Listen. Hello? Oh, Betty, I think I lost him. Wait a minute. You're not using that set the right way. You press your switch in to transmit, and when it's released, you're on receive. Can you understand me? This is Rancho Caneo Tower. Where are you, and who are you? Over. I know how to work it down, Betty boy. I know how to work it. Watch it. Hello. Hello, down on the ground. This is us up in the air. And listen, we're in this fellow's plane, see? And he he knocked himself out because he drank a whole case of bourbon, and he fell down and hit his head. And what do we do? You know? The switch. Huh? Let go of the switch. If you can, give us your position. Who's flying the plane? Over. What do you mean, who's flying the plane? Nobody's flying the plane. Sir, tell them here, emergency. We have contact. Tell them it's a full emergency. We're going to try to talk them down. Tell them. Full emergency. We're going to try and talk them down. Right, sir. It's a twin beach. There was one here. I saw it this morning. Who's got a twin beach? It's that Colonel, Colonel Wilberforce. He was over at maintenance. If he's still over there, get him over here and hurry. Rancho Caneo Tower. Now listen, don't talk, just listen. We're getting things under control so you can take it easy. We know what kind of a plane you're in. We can see you, and we're making all the necessary preparations to talk you down. Rancho Caneo, over. Up here to Rancho Caneo Tower. Listen, we can't land in this thing, you understand? We're in real trouble. Over. Listen, you're going to be perfectly all right as long as you follow instructions. One thing, it's important that the man at the controls is also the man on the radio. Yeah. Hey, get out of here. Put him on. No. Put him on. I don't want him. Yeah. I tell you, put him on. He said the fellow that was flying should be talking on this thing. What am I supposed to do? Everything? You want me to fight the airplane? You want me to work the radio? What are you going to... What are you going to host this? told that neither of you has had any flying experience. And before I say anything else, I want to congratulate you on having done so well, uh, so far. Now, first of all, men, I'll explain what we intend to do. You can't land the airplane until you've made your approach. And you can't make your approach until you've made a long, slow turnaround down to the south. And we've got to be clear on a few things before you can start that long, slow turn. Now. The stick that you're holding there, uh, that is, I assume that, uh, men, are you holding that stick? Is somebody holding that stick? Over. What stick? Oh, the wheel. I'm holding it. We both holding it. Oh, good. Uh, Just one second there. I, I was afraid. Well, never mind that. Now I'll explain the controls. It's very important for you to understand the controls. Because if you don't, I'm afraid what might happen. Yes, thank you very much. Say, it's awful nice of you to stop. Well, you see, I'm just going as far as Santa Rosita Park. Oh, that's out yeah, of my way. Go. We're blocking traffic. Let's we are? Move it. Will you, will you move it? Let's move. Move on. Look out! Oh, what? What? They spotted us. Who, who has? Don't stop driving, man. Keep going. What, what is this? A helicopter. They've seen us. What helicopter? That's a police helicopter. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They always use them. Who, who always who use them? Who do you think? Well, look. I don't want to talk about this, but I got it. They got me hemmed in. <laughs> Will you shut up and listen? All right, I'm going to break a rule. A rule that says we must never reveal our true identity, but this is a matter of life and death. This is a desperate situation. Oh, what is? Will you shut up and listen? Now, look, I haven't got much time, so if you love your country, if you're a patriot, you listen and you listen hard. I got to get to a phone, and you got to make a call. I got to get to a phone. Yes, you got to call intelligence. Central Intelligence Agency in Washington, D.C. Oh, what on earth now, is listen! You tell them that you heard from X-27, you got it? X-27. X-27 told you to tell them they've made three attempts on my life today already. They had me down a silver mine. They tried to drown me. Can you handle a gun? Now, look. Oh, good. There's a cafe. Pull right in there. You'll use that phone. Look, I don't think I want to get you involved. shut up! You're in no danger. They've never seen you. Now, pull in. All right, good. 
Now look, get to a phone, tell the operator emergency priority, and then ask for the CIA, all right? Jump out. Jump. Come on, come on. You're in no danger. They don't know you. You're all right. Now look, I'll duck the car and I'll come back for you. For God's sakes, man, don't stand in the street. They'll see you. They'll spot you. Move it. Go. 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 Turned around, it's following the Dodge. 217-12159. This is stupid. You call me a stupid idiot? Well, let me tell you something. You're a stupid idiot. But he'll go all the way to Plaster City. So he goes all the way to Plaster City. I don't know about you, but I'm turning this thing around. Now, you want to catch him? You get out and run. Arguing, please. Well, the only reason the way together is because they only had one car. So let's get there, even if we are last. Whatever the outcome of the day, I shall never forget that you hit me when I wasn't even looking. Yeah. I've had just about enough out of you. If you'd have been quicker turning around, we could have caught him. Oh, why don't you shut up? Russell! There! It's Russell and Mr. Hawthorne! Well, stop him! Catch him! Are we gonna start that again? Faster step on it! Blow the horn, you big dope! Look, what do you want these guys for anyway? Well, you gotta keep up with them. You're falling behind. You gotta Do keep faster! Do you hear me? Do faster! Well, stop him! Don't let him get away! Don't let him get away! <laughs> What's that chap honking his hooter for? I don't know. It's probably some road hog who thinks he owns it. What? 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 I get anxious about Mama. Russell, wait a minute. It's my brother-in-law. What's he doing? Be careful. Be careful of him. He's not normal. You can't even... Boy, are you bugging me, man. I'm gonna... When I get... I'm gonna nail... Ooh, ooh, God. I'm, I'm getting bugged now. Whoa, man. Russell, will you pull... If you don't pull over, I'll kill you. Russell, I'm warning you. Pull over and stop. I said stop! Stop! All right, you have to stop! What did I say? I'm <laughs> 